What is ethics? According to Wikipedia, ethics, also known as moral philosophy, is a branch of philosophy that involves systemizing, defending, and recommending concepts of right and wrong behavior. When asking people of their definition of ethics, these are some of the things that were said. Ethic has to do with what my feelings tell me is right or wrong. Ethic has to do with my religious beliefs. Being ethical is doing what the law requires. Ethics consists of the standards of behavior our society accepts. Or simply, I don't know what the word means. So why is ethics important? Ethics are important because they allow society to continue to function, helping people to interact and live their daily lives in a functional way. Ethics keep people from doing what is wrong. If an individual has no ethics, he will do the wrong thing whenever he believes it will benefit him and that he can get away with it. Well, in the construction in industry, little research has focused on ethical practices within the design and construction industry. A survey of individuals in the construction industry estimates a loss between 5000 and 50000 per million dollars spent on a project due to unethical behavior. According to the FMI Cooperation, the top five ethical issues in the construction industry are dishonesty with customers, coming in at 51.9%, stealing slash theft, 44.4%, deceptive sales practices, 40.7%, violating environmental regulations, 37%, Conflicts of interest, 37%. For today, I want to talk about the three most common ethical issues in construction I feel that is most important and that everyone should be familiar with. First is bid shopping. Bid shopping is the practice of providing one competitor's price to another competitor who is bidding on the same scope of work. Some people have their own views about this matter. Some people consider pre-award bid shopping or bid shopping that occurs prior to the awarding of the prime contract as an acceptable expression of free competition and this ultimately benefits the owner. Some people feel that post-award bidding shopping is both harmful to the construction industry. In post-award bidding shopping, the contractor obtains a lower price from a second subcontractor. After having already been awarded the prime contract through the original subcontractor's bid, post-award bidding shopping benefits the contractor. As monies from these savings are used to increase the profit margin rather than being passed on to the public authorities or Bid shopping was a topic I learned in my Project Control 2 class. In general, I feel that bid shopping is completely unethical in the construction industry. Using a legitimate bid to bring down other bidders can significantly impact your work quality and also is unfair. Another problem is that most vendors will stop doing business with you once they find out that you do bid shop and can cause a ne negative outlook on your company. Another unethical issue is bid rigging. Bid rigging is colluding with competitors to drive up the price of work. Let's look at an example of bid rigging. Say that the State Highway Department is bidding multiple jobs on a certain day. The night before the bids are due and all the contractors meet at a hotel and decide to divide up the work between them. They are going to accomplish this by submitting inflated bids on projects they decided would go to another contractor and thereby in return having the other contractors do the same for them. I feel as if bid rigging is wrong and unethical because bid rigging can cause harm to agencies that are seeking the bids and taxpayers who have to pay the cost of other people's mistakes. The example I showed earlier also was from my Project Controls 2 class, which went into detail about the different types of bid rigging and the penalties people pay for doing it. Lastly, overbilling. Overbilling is invoicing in excess of agreed upon pricing or exaggerating the amount of services or bids provided. This sometimes can be illegal. According to FMI, 89% of people in the construction industry said that overbilling was unethical 
But what about the 11% that disagreed? Well, the 11% of people who disagreed felt that in the construction industry, overbilling is simply rebalancing the schedule of values to place a higher value on work performed early in the project and lower values on work to be completed near the end of the project so that the contractor is not out of pocket on cash flow. But also, some people in the construction industry use overbilling as a way to pocket extra money. For example, this is the case where a construction company pays $2.3 million to resolve fraudulent overbilling in the renovation of Logan International Airport. The construction company submitted false and inflated invoices which resulted in an overpayment of more than $1 million. I learned about these ethical issues through research. I personally believe that overbilling is ethical when you use it for the right reasons, such as rebalancing your schedule of values and managing cash flow. But when it's used to pocket money, that's when it becomes unethical.